Good afternoon. My name is Robert McDonald. I'm the Director of Intentional Health and Wellness, and I'll be conducting a brief interview with Dr. Dan Levine and Mike Berkeley on the topic of endometriosis. Dr. Levine is a reproductive endocrinologist and the founder and medical director of Hudson Valley Fertility, and Mike Berkeley is a licensed acupuncturist and board-certified herbalist, and he is the founder and director of the Berkeley Center for Reproductive Wellness. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. Hi. Good evening. Dr. Levine, um, I'd like to ask you to explain basically what is endometriosis. Endometriosis is a uh, very common uh, condition in reproductive age women that is responsible for many things, uh, including uh, often debilitating pelvic pain, uh, as well as infertility. Uh, it is a condition that we struggle with in the, in the field of reproductive medicine uh, to try to achieve um, good pregnancy rates and better outcomes. Uh, it is a condition whereby the endometrial, the uterine lining of the uterus in a reproductive age woman can implant outside of the uterus itself. And this can lead to some of the problems uh, of pelvic pain as well as the various uh, different uh, problems of implantation uh, and difficulty conceiving uh, related to these, uh, these endometriotic uh, implants, to the disease implanting outside of the uterus. There is an immune factor as well as abnormal uh, growth factors and abnormal hormones that are produced as a result of this condition leading to infertility. Hmm. And uh, I'd like you to speak a little bit on how, um, from a reproductive medicine perspective, uh, is the best way to treat endometriosis and to help increase take-home baby rates in patients with that condition? Um, from a, from a infertility or reproductive medicine point of view, uh, we struggle with this condition. Um, uh, the standard treatments for pelvic pain don't work for fertility. With pelvic pain, we can treat things with medical treatments or very uh, uh, significant sur surgeries to uh, enhance treatment of the pain. For the infertility side, uh, the only thing that really helps is minimally invasive surgery to treat the endometriosis in advance in combination with advanced reproductive technologies to enhance fertility. So most of the, most of the best treatments for a take-home baby with endometriosis rely heavily on um, heavy dose medication and as well as advanced treatments such as in vitro fertilization. Hmm. Very informative. Thank you very much, Dr. Levine. My pleasure. Mike, um, from a uh, Chinese medicine point of view, can you briefly explain what endometriosis, endometriosis is from that perspective? Certainly. You know, in, in the world of Chinese medicine or in Chinese medicine talk, they say that the blood follows the qi, which means essentially that the energy of the heart pumping is what propels blood throughout the body. So endometrial cells, which uh, as Dr. Levine uh, indicated, belong in the uterine cavity uh, in the endometrial lining, not ectopically, which is to say outside of the, the uterine cavity. And so in Chinese medicine, we say there's a rebelliousness of liver qi whereupon the blood is being extravasated outside of the uterus, taking with it endometrial cells. And this concept, by the way, is not very different than one of the theories of endometriosis, which is based upon retrograde menstruation. And so that's really the mechanism of action uh, or the etiopathology of endometriosis, rebellious chi and rebellious blood. Um, another very interesting thing that most acupuncturists aren't aware of is that endometriosis is an inflammatory disorder. And even though the disease of endometriosis exists outside of the endometrial cavity, why then therefore, even with IVFs, are some of those cases unsuccessful they're unsuccessful because what's known as pro-inflammatory cytokines circulate within the uterine cavity, causing an inflammatory environment uh, such that embryos will be, uh, have a deleterious environment. And so using acupuncture and herbs, we can minimize to some degree or mitigate an inflammatory environment, helping implantation rates. The best case scenario, in my opinion, is to use 
acupuncture and herbal medicine in conjunction with traditional Western medicine, laparoscopy, and IVF. And those are the best outcomes that I've seen. Mike, um, as a fellow practitioner of this 5,000-year-old medicine, I'm very much aware that you're steeped in knowledge in, in modern uh, reproductive medicine practices, and I know you have a lot of relationships with REs across the country, including uh, Dr. Levine. I'd like to ask you uh, how acupuncture and herbal medicine supports the treatment of endometriosis for better outcomes and how you integrate that with, concurrently with Western practices? Great question. Well, number one, um, endometriosis forms these uh, you know, ectopic deposition of endometrial adhesions. And from the perspective of Chinese medicine, what we try to do is invigorate qi and transform blood stasis, which really means to try to minimize or eradicate those adhesions. Now, in fact, I don't really believe that that can be done. I believe that the best way to do that is through laparoscopic surgery. However, by increasing the flow of blood, we do mitigate inflammation because if blood is stuck in a certain area, stuck blood causes inflammation. This is evident and known in Western medical science as well as in traditional Chinese medicine. So by moving qi and blood, what we do is we help to uh, minimize or eradicate an inflammatory environment and that works, uh, that helps to improve outcomes. And doing it, doing t TCM in conjunction with, with Western medicine is quite simple. We do herbs and acupuncture. The, the reproductive endocrinologist will do a laparoscopy and an IVF. We do it all together and we keep our fingers crossed. But in this case, one plus one equals three because both types of medicines really potentiate each other and hopefully will yield better outcomes. And is that your position also, Dr. Levine? Absolutely. I think we're talking about a synergistic treatment that combines Eastern and Western uh, modalities and philosophies. And I think neither one is exclusive. It's complementary and synergistic. And by working together, we can achieve the best outcomes. Fantastic. You know, I want to thank you both for taking time to uh, sit down for this interview. And uh, for those people watching who would like to find out more about Dr. Levine and his practice, please feel free to visit him at www.hudsonvalleyfertility.com. Dr. Levine can also be reached by calling 845-765-0125. Once again, that's 845-765-0125. And for those of you who'd like to find out more about uh, Mike Berkeley, acupuncture and herbal medicine, and how those uh, uh, therapies might improve your chances of conceiving, please feel free to visit www.berkeleycenter.com. That's B-E-R-K-L-E-Y-C-E-N-T-E-R.com. Mike can also be reached by phone by calling 212-685-0985. 212-685-0985. Thank you for watching and best wishes on your journey to family.